Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Nisha and I hope you all are doing great and enjoying the festive season. Today's video is very special because recently one of the best airlines in the world has announced that they are planning to come to India in the month of December and January. The name of that airline is Cathay Pacific. Yes, you heard me right. You can apply for Cathay Pacific online. The application is open on their website. However, please hold your horses as of now because in this video, I'm going to talk about the benefits, salary package, criteria, and also I'll be telling you and explaining you everything that how you can apply for Cathay Pacific online and you can easily submit your resume. If you are new to my YouTube channel, then I would request you to please hit the subscribe button, share this video with someone who really needs to see this and also to the people who has completed their graduation and willing to pursue their career in aviation as a cabin crew member in an international airline. Whenever we plan to switch our job or whenever we are thinking that you know we need to get a job the first thing comes in our mind is that what salary will that company or that airline will offer us. So through my sources and through the various website through Google and everything I found out that the basic salary you will be getting around 1,50,000 so that is the estimated salary you'll be getting and if I include all the other allowance and everything then your salary will go up to 2 lakh rupees per month and also one more thing I want to talk is that you will be based out of Hong Kong you will be staying there till the time you are serving in that company they have various bases as well they, I think they have around 9 bases internationally so you can switch to other base as well in few, coming future now I'm going to talk about the benefits you'll be getting in Cathay Pacific. The first one is that you'll be getting airfare discounted discounts in to you and your family in Cathay Pacific airline and also with the partner airline. Not only that, you will also receive uh, discounts in various hotels partnered with Cathay Pacific. Second is that you will be getting medical insurance, dental insurance, then they have I guess life insurance, disability insurance, retirement insurance and many more. So once you get selected either you can select all of the insurance if you feel like. If not then you can select one or two for you and also for your family members. During your training period you will be getting free bus services from your training center to your residence and residence to back to the training center. And not only that uh, you will also get around 12,000 Hong Kong dollars as your base salary in your training period there are a few negative points which i want to discuss the first one is that once you complete your training uh, you yourself have to take care of your accommodation company will not be providing you uh, accommodation and the second point is uh, once you complete your training uh, of course now you are all set to fly, go for flights and everything however the company will not provide you private vehicle you yourself have to take care of the transportation you can use the public transportation because they have mentioned in their website that they are giving discounts on the public transport tra transport that are traveling to the airport only not other cities so that was all about the benefits now it's time to know about the criteria the first criteria is that you should be at least 18 years old or above your arm reach should be at least 208 centimeters tip toe which is a really good point because most of the airlines ask more than uh, you know 210 centimeters but this is a benefit point here third is you should be medically fit you should not have any criminal background if you have so then i'm really sorry you cannot apply for Cathay pacific you should know how to read write in hindi as well as in english language and if you know your regional language well and good then that could add as an advantage during your interview as well as in your resume the most important question and the most uh, you know weighted question till now can freshers apply can male and female apply for this role then my answer to is this is yes male and female both can apply for this position and if i talk about the fresher then i would say yes 
you can also apply for uh, this position if you are 12th standard then you need to have at least one year of flying uh, experience if you are someone who has a flying experience has completed the 12th standard then you can go ahead and apply for it or if you are someone who is going to complete one year in one month or two months then you also can apply for it and they have also mentioned that if you have any customer service experience or hospitality industry experience then that could add an advantage in your resume as well as in your selection last but not the least if you are someone who has given ielts exam and has scored more than 6 or if you are someone who has given toe ic exam and has scored more than 325 marks in hearing and reading then that could add an advantage while submitting your uh, application for cathay pacific and if you are someone who doesn't know what these are then please read the description i have mentioned everything in detail for your better understanding and to the people who has not given this exam but has an idea then do not worry don't get scared don't get stressed out because cathay pacific will be taking your assessment in one day once you get the invitation then you have to go to the venue and they will be providing you the assessments and everything they will be taking care of the formalities so you just sit there relax and prepare for the interview i have discussed about the salary benefits uh criteria at least now you have got a clear picture whether you want to select this airline or not well uh, my suggestion to the freshers would be then that that if you are getting into any airline then please go ahead and you know apply for it and to people who are already cribbing in their current airline then please go ahead and apply for it because see most of the airlines if i talk international airlines saudi airlines singapore airlines most of these airlines were asking for the swimming test if you remember if you have seen my previous videos they were asking that you should be able to swim in cathay pacific they have not mentioned it so you have a bonus point here if you are not a swimmer then you can fly international without knowing swimming so do not waste uh, your time and just come and join with me i will be taking you to the application center wherein you will get an idea that how you can apply for cathay pacific online and also ensure that your resume is ats approved and always keep a cover letter handy open google and type cathay pacific career slash cabin crew or you can directly mention this uh once you click on that uh, you can see right here they have mentioned there are so many openings right here but do not click any of this because these are the third party agent they might scam you okay right here you can see flight attendant in india so based in hong kong you have to click on that flight uh, attendants is also known as uh, cabin crew air hostess flight stewards and cabin attendant uh once you click on to that page uh, cabin crew india then you re uh, reach to this page right here you can see in the requirement they have mentioned bachelor's degree so if you are someone who doesn't have any experience uh from the customer service or from the from the hotel industry you don't need to worry all you have to do is you need to have a bachelor's degree if you are someone who has just completed your 12th standard then right here you can see high school graduate accompanied by at least one year of flight attendant experience you need to have one year of experience uh in flight apart from that you can see right here that you have to go undergo psychotic uh, substances test right here you can see if you want to know more details then you can just click on this and read all the details just scroll down right here you can see the here they have mentioned selected candidates will be invited by email to attend the assessment date in mumbai in december 2023 so the interview will be happening in mumbai so if you are from the other state then you have to come to bombay to give your interview and candidates are expected to finish the assessment in one day so the interview will be getting over only in one day and all the other assessment for example if you have not given ielts exam or uh, toe ic exam if you don't have those certificates then your english test will be conducted in mumbai you can see that candidates holding a valid toe ic score of 325 for both reading and listening or valid ielts certificate or overall score you need to 
or have is 6 out of 10 or above above 6 okay so your certificate will only be valid if you have given uh, exams post uh, December And below here, you can see the last date to apply for Cathay Pacific is 10th November 2023. Okay, if your resume gets short shortlisted, then uh, they will be notifying you within six weeks. If you do not get any reward from the Cathay Pacific, consider that as a rejection and uh, you can apply next time. So once you apply, then if you get rejected, then you have to wait for at least six months. Okay, so don't uh, rush, just prepare yourself very well, ensure that your resume is eye-catching and every keyword is mentioned in your resume. So, okay, lots. Let's not waste our time, quickly we'll dive into the application. Yes, we'll click on apply now. It is always better to go through the roles, uh, roles, responsibilities, requirements and further details. So, if do not skip the other part, make sure you read each and everything before clicking on apply now. Just click on this and import your resume. Once you import it, everything will be mentioned in over here. Or you can just fill up the other details which is empty and which is necessary. So salutation means that you are miss, misses or anything you have to select that. So here you can see have you ever been employed by Cathay Pacific? No, I was not. Sorry. Have you ever been employed by Cathay Dragon or Cathay Pacific uh, subsidiary? So let me tell you one thing. They have a uh, uh, Cathay Pacific is uh, like you know Air India. Uh, from Hong Kong uh, so in Air India we have Air India and Air India Express so if you guys have noticed that Air India travel domestic as well as the international destinations travels to Europe country Australia and also the US country and we also have Air India Express which travels domestic and to the nearby places for example tra uh, travels to Saudi country Indonesia uh, this is the same way so Cathay Pacific travel to the longer distance uh, and also has you know a uh, big aircraft same like Air India and Cathay Dragon is like an Air India Express so it travels to the uh, you know only to inside the country or also to the nearby places have you ever been referred uh, for this position by the employee of Cathay Pacific no I was not referred I'll mention no okay so if you're someone who has you know experience like from hotel industry or from the customer service industry then you need to mention your uh, salary you have to convert that into uh, you know Hong Kong dollars and you have to mention or if you're a fresher then just type uh, 000 okay uh, any which ways we cannot negotiate our salary they are just asking if somebody who has uh, you know uh, experience in flight and they are earning more than the Cathay Pacific then they can only argue on this point however we cannot argue for uh, for salary are you fully vaccinated against COVID yes I am if you guys are not then please uh, you know get it get yourself vaccinated as soon as possible because that is mandatory okay are you citizen of india yes i am are you a hong kong permanent resident no i am not are you at least 18 age of 18 years of age yes i am what is your highest education qualification mine is bachelor's degree okay uh, ladies and gentlemen can you see right here that uh, you know if you have the higher degree you need to at least have one year of flight flight attendant experience or if you have you know diploma from uh, any uh, aviation institute you also require to have one year of experience uh, in flight if you are someone who has graduation and post graduation but does not have any experience then you uh, guys are lucky you can go ahead and apply for it uh, do you have any valid uh, TOIC exam which is the you know English assessment exams so I do not have it then I'll mention no the same here as well they are asking for IELTS I don't have it I'll mention no are you able to speak uh, and uh, read in Hindi and English yes I can 
do you have at least one year of flying experience in any airline uh, so if you're a fresher then you need to mention no if you uh, have an experience uh, in flight then please go ahead and mention yes if somebody who is going to complete one year in one month or two months then you can also mention uh, yes and then drop your resume uh, are you in uh, ex Cathay Pacific Cathay Dragon flight attendant no I'm not okay uh, just keep this blank. You don't need to fill this because they are asking about the Cathay Pacific and Cathay Dragon. So you don't need to mention if you are uh, if you are not part of uh, these airline. Okay, so right here, how many doses of COVID vaccine have you received? So as you know that two vaccination is mandatory for everybody. And if people who has taken booster shots, then they can mention three or uh, three here. However, two is the minimum uh, requirement for vaccination certificate. Have you attempted to recruit uh, activities of flight team position in Cathay Pacific in past six months? If you are someone who has given uh, application in the uh, last six months uh, but, but got rejection due to some reason, then I would suggest you do not upload it from the same uh, Gmail ID and from the same resume make a new, uh, create a completely new resume and your new Gmail ID and then you apply for it, okay? Because they keep uh, your... Uh, personal details uh, in their box or in their email id or in their uh, app somewhere that they will get to know that you have applied before so if you can just you know play with some words in your new resume play with your names as well names as in uh, your, your last names comes first and then your first comes here comes last so you can do like uh, vice versa and then you can apply for it so i have not done it so i'll say no no, I have not convicted for any criminal offense. What is your current notice period? So if you're a fresher, then you mention immediate or if you're a, you know, uh, experience or currently walking somewhere or uh, you're flying somewhere or some in some airline, then you mention the current notice period as per the co your company's requirement. So I'm filling it as a fresher. If you're experienced, then if you're, uh, you know, if you want to leave your job immediately, you have to mention your notice period any which ways. What drives you most uh, to join the Cathay Pacific? So, I'm very passionate about joining the aviation. I want to pursue my career goals, acquire experience and sharpen my skill set. Yes, I want to learn as much as possible. So, if you guys select uh, attracted by the staff benefits, attracted by the junior incentives, then it shows a really bad impression because it shows that you are kind of greedy and being selfish before joining the Qatar, sorry, Cathay Pacific. So, don't select any of these, okay? Uh, refer by the Cathay Pacific employees, then uh, if you are someone who got reference from your friend or from anyone from the Cathay Pacific, then yes, you can select this also. I agree to share all of my details. Yes. Next, please provide the country territory you are applying for. So let me tell you, Cathay Pacific, I guess, uh, gives total nine bays globally. So if you are applying uh, for some other bays, then you can mention those. Currently, they are open for Hong Kong bays. Then I will be selecting Hong Kong. Gender, female, nationality. Indian, ethnic origin, Asian, age group, my age comes in between 25 to 29, if you are in between 18 to 24, mention that, you consider yourself a person with disability, no, I've already submitted my resume, so you don't need to upload it again, we'll go on to the next step. Here, if you have the IELTS certificates or TOEIC certificate, then you can add this. By indicating my acceptance of this statement, I clarify that I have read the company's uh, applicant policy, privacy policy, and agreed to its term and condition. I further clarify that the information provided is true and complete, complete to the best of my knowledge. Yes, I completely agree. If you want them to send you emails constantly about the new job openings then select this if you don't want then don't select this okay oopsie preferred name preferred name i would say my nickname is 
Jayu, so I would say Jayu. Also, I'm just kidding. Your preferred name is Nisha. I would like people to call me Nisha. Okay, ready to send submit. Okay, we have submitted our resume in Cathay Pacific. And if you like this video, do hit the like button, share it with your friends, and also with the people who should see this video. Okay, see you. Take care. Bye bye. Enjoy the festival.